realized it's so hard. I was working with rock, these rock bands in Ireland, and it's very hard to take when you're the manager. They don't these five musicians slash artists really don't listen to what you. What are your Irish bands as well? Uh, uh, they're a mixture. Yeah, Irish, English. Well, uh, one of the guys was Indonesian. So, but. Uh, <laughs> They wouldn't listen to me, you know. I mean, they would to a certain extent, but there it's five individual artists all trying to work together, having their own ideas of where to go and what you know, what where, where creatively to go. And that's when I said, you know, what do I want to do with my life? And I certainly don't. I want to be the dictator. I want to be in charge so I can tell everybody <laughs> creatively this is where we're going. And uh, and so that's what kind of happened. I mean, on a set, it's fun because every every actor brings their own thing to the yeah. and and they. I always stand back. I don't give them much direction to start. I let them do their own thing. And then I'll, you know, I'll give them some direction, but at least my job is to make sure we're all heading in the same direction. And what about, do you do a lot of work in the casting process? Oh, well, obviously oh, yeah. you do the director, yeah, yeah. but is, it, is that when you do a lot of your work? So yeah. you guys like Channing Tatum or Sienna or whatever. Casting, someone yeah. said casting's 90% of directing. And yeah. So my, I have a crew that have been with me for 10 to 20 years, a lot of the people, and we sit around, and once the script gets to a certain stage, we sit around and start talking about actors. And, and not even, in any, you know, not about which role or anything like that. We yeah. just talk about, oh, do you know this actor? Do you know that actor? Have you seen Sienna Miller in Factory Girl? Have you seen Marlon Wayans in uh, Requiem for a Dream? And and then I'll watch a bunch of movies, and then I, then I meet people. Uh, we did very little auditioning. I just started uh, meeting people, met Channing, and met Sienna. And, and to me, the most important thing is, once I see their movies and know they're talented, is yeah. are they nice people? Because there, there a lot of the guys like Channing and, and Marlon are kind of playing against type, even though Marlon's you know essentially the comic relief right. as well as the actor. Same with Sienna. So, Sienna, yeah, they're playing against because everybody type, th- everybody thinks she, in real life she's the Baroness. And yeah, she's not at all. She's <laughs> Anna in real life, and the Baroness is some caricature that someone. Yeah, with the the action role in general was that you kind of gone okay? These, these guys have never done anything like this before. Let's just go. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> somebody in Pete, anybody order pizza or something? <laughs> <laughs> somebody hit the door. Um, no, with with uh, I sh- it was funny because Sienna I think was nervous about the action part of the yeah. you know arts. And I said that you don't have to worry about that. You just give me a great performance, you know. And uh, that's what's really about. I knew. You're like, I'll take care of the rest. She's she's underrated. <laughs> she's such a fantastic actress, and she's beautiful, and she's sweet. You know, it was just a, the whole package. I, I loved, and so uh, you know, there's there's a lot of of un, uh, what am I trying to say uh, <clears throat> not so physical <laughs> actors who have become these big macho stars yeah. so I can take Sienna and Rachel and, and make them as tough as any guy okay, and it's a like it is a really particularly amazing cast here as well with Channing as well as known kind of for his subtle kind of performance he kind of excuses his subtle masculinity as well was that what you're thinking for the lead guy too yeah the lead guy you don't I mean, want somebody clearly, that's all grandos somebody that's yeah Duke had yeah, to be a leader yeah. of men that was yeah. the key and Rip uh, everybody knows Marlon is this very funny guy, and I had to make sure that people believed yeah. him as a special forces, you know, so one of the best of the best. So you made them hit the gym, hit the gym too, get them into training as well. Uh, they all hit the gym. Yeah. I mean, uh, Rachel gained 15 pounds of muscle, and she looked fantastic. You know, it's not like fa- 15 pounds of fat. And Sienna as well. I mean, they all, all the actors had to, it's a very physical movie. Yeah. And I said, you don't, do not take this, I mean, take this seriously, because it's a marathon. Yeah. And uh, don't screw around, get in great shape, or you're going to regret it. And they all took it very seriously. So the, the actors have to obviously have to be in good shape because you're on screen, but you're dealing with an awful lot of stuff here as well, yeah. as well as that, and then going into post and dealing with even more stuff. Just how difficult is it juggling all those balls or keeping all those balls in the air in such a big movie? Very, obviously, diffi- obviously, very obviously difficult. Obviously you have experience <laughs> in it. But yeah. No, I have experience. Yeah, That's yeah. a good thing is that over the years I've, I've built up enough experience that I don't, I don't get too yeah. uh, thrown off, and I do yoga and Pilates every day. <laughs> I stay in good shape. This is Zenia Keep Irish mentally, uh, uh, Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't drink a drop of alcohol the entire production. I just really focused. And uh, uh, for, for me, it's I have a great team around me, a lot of people who make me look good. So, mm. is, that, is, that, is, that, is that you just even modest or is that true? No, you, it is true. I have the a, guys, I was talking to Marlon, Marlon and Channing, and they said you're, just, you're, you're kind of everywhere. You're kind of doing everything. And like, keeping those energy <laughs> yeah. levels up, is, that can't just be No, yoga. it's just my metabolism. Uh, my yeah. mom, uh, if you, if you, when you meet my mom, you'll go, oh, that's where he got it. <laughs> That's what, you know, my mom has a very high metabolism. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm always running around, but I do have a great crew to watch my back. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what's coming up next? Do you, you think this is going to be the start of a franchise? Are you I thinking, hope so. Or are you thinking of just your link for Tarzan as well? If I'm to oh, believe no, I, YMDB. Let's see what happens uh, 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 August 7th. We'll see what happens August 7th. I, uh, uh, this world has so much to offer. I mean, there's so many, yeah. so many more stories with these, these characters and, and so much that happens to their between them all. You know, but there's 300 comic books and cartoons, and they really developed these characters yeah. and gave them great backstories. And I, I'd love to get back in and, and do another one of these. So it's really up to the fans. If the fans want another one, I'm I'm there. 
Okay, because there is an awful lot of characters, and was that kind of you know before yeah. you kind of think we are we can go in this this many di- yeah no because there's a lot of characters in the universe, but you yeah. think there's so many directions I can go in here, and was that one of the attractions of the project for yeah, you? Yeah, uh, well yeah there it is so that's that is one of the attractions of the yeah. project is it mm-hmm. not so it's not only incredibly visual but it, the movie takes place all over the world you know from the polar ice cap to the bottom of the ocean and everywhere else. And there are so many characters, interesting characters and visual characters. And so uh, it's just really a matter of narrowing it down. And so yeah. um, I, I, I'm dying to do more. Cool. Well, it was lovely to meet you, Stephen. Thank nice you for taking you the also. time to meet me. Thank you. I will.